Guys, it was absolutely beautiful today. It was 83 degrees. I had family over for a little while. We had some really great tuna fish sandwiches. We took the, my niece and nephew to the park. We played around. And, uh, I mean, it's just beautiful. The trees are starting to bloom. And I thought I would steal an idea uh, from another YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, Elizabeth from Tiny House Prepper did a video on her favorite things, uh, things that make her happy. So I thought I'd, I'd share the same thing because I'm just so happy today. Uh, so we'll start out with my cat, Crystal, who is currently trying to negotiate her way off the window seal. She's almost 14 years old. I've had her her entire life. She's a very good kitten. Um, of course, you know, my house makes me happy, obviously, but simple little things make me so happy. Our backyard, it's a tiny little backyard, and uh, we just got this fence put up last year. But we've had so many happy memories back here, and I'm really starting to think, uh, you know, I'm taking a turning point in life. You know, I look at photos, and I don't look about how good I look in the photos or anything. I just look at the memories. Um, you know, take this little tiny barbecue set over here. A friend of mine got that for me. Actually, when I broke my ankle, they came over here and they cooked. And I've taken really good care of it. And it's just a cheap, regular barbecue grill. Uh, you know, for $38 or so, but it's had so many good meals cooked on it, so many good memories. I don't care that it's not fancy. It has created such joy and happy moments with my family. Um, so that is definitely one of my favorite things. Another one of my favorite things, Chiquita the Chihuahua. Love her. Uh, something else that always makes me happy is little, uh, this is what the owl. His name is What, W-H-A-T. And we've had him for several years, and he just sits up in the tree. He probably needs a new paint job, but uh, he's just really happy. He loves being here, and uh, he makes me smile when I come home. Another little person that makes me happy is Timmy the turtle. He sits right here in our flower bed, and uh, every day I come home and I see him. This makes me happy. I don't know why. We've had him for a couple of years, too. He just sits out here. One of the other things that really makes me happy is our little pond. We don't have any fish in it. Um, we used to, but the cats and the raccoons kept eating them, so I stopped. But coming out here, sitting on the patio set over here, and just listening to this water run, uh, it's just so nice. It's peaceful. I've always wanted one. And uh, I could just sit out here and listen, uh, listen to it. And I love to see water running. Uh, we have some little pots sunken down in there and some of these little rocks we've been collecting uh, anyway and it gives the flamingos a place to get their water from it just makes me so happy i love i love it this used to be two uh, different fountains uh, the barrel fountain was its own little fountain um, but it started having some problems so i just connected it over to this pond and it's been working like that for over a year and uh, it's just a pleasure Another little thing that makes me happy are our bubble light chandeliers. We came up with this idea a year ago, a year or two ago, and uh, I collected these two old chandeliers and rewired and repainted them. And uh, they're just so cool when you come in the house. And uh, the chandeliers were free, and we just bought the bubble lights and the spray paint and the wiring. It started with this one over here last Christmas. I got this chandelier for five bucks at a thrift store. But it's just so cool. I've never, ever seen anyone else do it. So it's kind of a thing that, until someone tells me different, it's uniquely ours. And the bubble lights bring back great memories as being a kid. So really love them. Another really special place for me at home is this little sewing machine table. And not so much the sewing machine, although that's really cool. And one day we'll do a video just about it because uh, it's a classic and uh, it's beautiful. It has all its original parts and receipt and everything. But it's the photographs here that are really special to me. Just memories. Just memories. All right, and as I was talking about earlier, it's the memories that really get to me nowadays and one of the other things I love so much is our little pig shelf 
this is actually the reason we chose this home this little shelf right here collect pigs you can kind of tell and this guy down here oh this makes me smile this is a little fisher price train and i had one just like this when i was a kid and we found this at the antique store last year but i didn't buy it because it was like 70 bucks and it was just too expensive Anyway, this Christmas, my mom got it for me. She drove all the way to the thrift store in Mansfield, which is about an hour from her house, and uh, she purchased it. And it was a huge shock Christmas day, and it just literally, I cried. I'm not going to lie. I cried. It was such, such a touching moment um, to see a piece of your childhood brought back that you thought was lost. I also collect Avon cars, so <laughs> I can't afford to collect real cars, but I love little Avon, Avon cars and then these little Chevron cars, they're just cute, but I have actually a pretty reasonable collection of Avon transportation pieces, like right here in front of the TV, oh, these, these guys are just great, I love these cars, I'm a big car fanatic anyway, but I really love these classic Avon cars and some of the weird ones. I collect the weird stuff too, like the gas pumps and the 18 wheelers. Another thing that makes me happy is our grandfather clock. I always wanted one. We bought it several years ago and we live in 480 something square feet with two bedrooms and I still have room for a grandfather clock. I'll back out a little bit so you can see it in its entirety. And it's not electronic, it's, it's a key clock so you wind it um, so that's really great another really recent addition of things that make me happy are our photo frames here in the hallway so we have several of these photo frames we got at Ikea and they're just full of little little memories and uh, every time I walk down the hallway I'm just reminded about how great life really is and why we do the things that we do um, why you go to work and every struggle. I mean, this this is life. This is why. Uh, this is this is why we live, and it's so worth it. One last one here. This is uh, our day one of our house. So <laughs> I collect stuffed animals. This is my room. Welcome. I get a new sheep every Easter ever since I, Kroger started carrying them and uh, it gets a little carried away sometimes. There's a few sheep and seals. I collect seals. Seals and sheeps and uh, there's a little flamingo. But the guy who makes me the happiest in here is this little guy. And when I quit smoking I went through a really really hard time and I had, uh, you kind of go through a mental breakdown. Anyway, my mom got this little guy for me, and I've held on to him for years. He sits on a pedestal, and he has this little whale and crab. It sounds kind of crazy, but I love him to death. If the house caught on fire, he'd be one of the first, first things I'd grab. While this doesn't necessarily fulfill my soul, having indoor laundry makes me happy. Forgive the walls, folks. That's another project this year is rebuilding the walls back here in my bedroom, but... This is a photograph of my grandmother and also kind of her obituary hanging there. And the last uh, two photographs I ever took with her. So, very special. And uh, doesn't really make me sad, just makes me happy. She hangs right above my bed and a uh, great woman. And of course, lastly, on this video, <laughs> my home makes me very happy. Oh. You know, we live very simplistically, uh, although we have a lot of stuff, but uh, it's not about the material things, it's about the memories. And this home has created so many memories for my family and, and myself. Uh, I just feel so lucky every time I think about it. I feel very blessed. So, what are some of your favorite things? Let us know in the comments below, share a video, or post some pictures. Have a great day.